Hello, my name is Kim Frachek. I'm the co-director of SANE Energy Project. Um, and uh, I just want to identify for everybody in this room where exactly you're sitting. Um, directly in front of all of us is a destruction site of Spectra Energy's 42-inch high-pressure fracked gas pipeline that lands directly in the basement of this building and connects to the Con Edison network to bring fracked gas from Pennsylvania, where I am from, I live in Brooklyn now, to heat our homes. And instead of using renewable resources that we could have used, the Whitney was uh, worked in collusion with the oil and gas industry. I also want to identify the room that we're sitting in right now this is the Susan and John Hess Family Theater. The Hess family made their fortune off extracting oil. And this industry has been built upon slavery, pollution, and destruction of our planet. I just wanted to identify that the pipeline that's in the basement of this building is highly explosive and radioactive. We fought this pipeline in 2011 with Occupy the Pipeline, Sane Energy Project. We tried to get the attention of the Whitney Museum to have a dialogue about this. 5,000 comments were filed against this pipeline from neighbors in this neighborhood. And the Whitney didn't engage in discussion with us. Along with Occupy Museums, we launched a campaign called the WhitneyPipeline.org, and we asked them to help us create an open dialogue as to why our institutions have to be funded by big oil and destructive industry that take advantage of artists, like many stories you've heard today. I'm gonna read for you our first letter that we sent to the Whitney that went unanswered. We stand in support of art as a necessity in the service of life, art as social good, and art as common inheritance of the public. Therefore, we cannot ignore when art museums allow the public good that art engenders to be misused by powerful corporations in an effort to build credibility when their activities create environmental damage and rights abuses. The sponsorship of art by the fossil fuel industry has long been a public relations ploy aimed at obtaining a social license for the destructive of profit making. Citizens and institutions worldwide are withdrawing their support for the continued extraction of fossil fuels that should be kept in the ground. In arts and culture, from London to New York and Sydney, momentum is building for museums to end their connections to the fossil fuel industry. In, in the UK, artists like Liberate Tate are calling for Tate to culturally divest from the oil company, BP. Recently, dozens of leading scientists signed a letter initiated by the Natural History Museum to remove climate change underwriter David Koch from the board of the science museums and for science museums to cut ties with the fossil fuel industry. Since this letter was written three or four years ago, we know now that David Koch has voluntarily resigned from the Natural History Museum. He claims there's no ties to the public pressure. With the new Whitney Museum in New York, the public now has an example of a museum that literally incorporates fossil fuel infrastructure into its very foundation. The vault of the controversial Spectra gas pipeline is concealed underneath the Whitney's museum's front steps. The Spectra pipeline is a high pressure pipeline that brings fracked gas from Pennsylvania and elsewhere into New York City. Should an accident occur, the result will be an irreplaceable harm to the museum, its art collection, workers, and visitors. Through proponents of natural gas promote fracking as a relatively harmless process that claim gas burns clean, the overall extraction process of fracking has a climate impact comparable to coal. The fracking process pollutes drinking water, creates harmful emissions, and causes earthquakes. Today, we are asking how can a museum that literally covers up the dirty fossil fuel industry be a beacon for the future of art and culture? We wanted to host a public assembly uh, 
and we were not accepted by the board of the Whitney to have a discussion, and I'd like to take today to propose that the Whitney allow us to have this room to host events for bringing alternative energy sources, renewable, sustainable, efficient energy sources into New York City and try to become a good neighbor to us. Thank you.